we're going to be walking through how you can edit the population limits in Rise of Nations. I know this game's really old, but I still play it and I still love it. So if anyone out there still plays this thing and wants to change your population limits, this is how to do it. So um, I'm going to provide a link to this article, but basically this is all I'm following. Um, and so the very first thing you do is you open up your C drive or wherever you've installed your Rise of Nations. Uh, installer and then inside that there's going to be a data directory and within that data directory you're going to find rules and it should be an XML document and so if you right click this you can edit it with a given uh, text editor. I'm going to use notepad but you can use any uh, text editor you want. Um, so this is what it looks like and so literally all we're doing here is we're changing the constants that the game references which is pretty cool so um, in our case because we want to update the population limit um, you can just hit Control F and then go to like pop uh, cap and then this line right here pop cap entry is these following so what we're gonna do is we're just literally gonna walk through this and put zeros two zeros behind every one of these um, just so that I don't forget because you do want to stay consistent with all these different entries because if you're off it can cause things to get really wacky so just literally we multiply everything by like 100 or something so I'm just putting on two zeros um, so that's uh, what you need there and then after you do that we're going to also modify another line that is the max uh, pop limit and so this guy right here uh, needs to be I believe 100 more than your maximum value so we've just made our maximum value uh, 20,000 and it used to be 200 so now we're going to do 20,100 to make sure that we keep things consistent there and then next up what we're going to do is we're going to go to categories um, ID pop limits and if it's not finding it make sure you're not having the match case checked um, but we don't have to worry about that right now. So categories, ID gets pop limits. So here we go. And you'll literally just go through this guy and you put in the values that you previously put in, which was adding two zeros to everything and making sure that you have stayed consistent this entire time. to do now is save this file so I'm gonna hit file save and then if you close this out and close that guy out um, now we're gonna go back here we should see that it just updated it which it just did so we're gonna go to edit with notepad and we're just gonna confirm that we still have the same pop let's which we do. So that's looking great. And now we'll just open up this game. 